Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here, and look what we have today. This is a 2016 Royal Enfield Classic 500. Let's see if we can get it to start. Five, four, three, two, one. They just did an oil change on this hot rod. Look at those mirrors. Big single. I think it's an overhead valve. Cams are in the chest, push rod engine. We'll go over the specs down there at the uh, old cycle park. I love riding these, by the way. <laughs> I just love riding them. Five-speed transmission. <laughs> I wonder if that's a stock pipe. They just got this in on a trade. They haven't had a time to run to the shop yet other than the oil change. So we're kind of taking it on a maiden voyage, so to speak. Mirrors are all right. I love the way these things run. I just love them. They've got some real feel to them, if you know what I mean. Hey, let's do a quick spin test. Looks like they got a little bit of the gravel off the road anyway. No one behind us. <laughs> Herky jerky on the clutch there, little my friend. Sorry about that. There, I got it under control now. <laughs> a little wide, a little wide. We're gonna do a little brake test just because it's a new bike. Hasn't been ran through the shop yet, so. I love the sound. Here through the bridge. Wahoo! What a beauty, what a beauty. I've got the classic 350. This has got a bit more horsepower than that does. I think this is something like 27 horsepower or 27 foot-pounds 30 foot-pounds of torque something like that. We'll we'll go over that at the park Oh, this thing has character. I've got a friend of mine who has one of these and he drives it all over the country You probably heard me mention him before he's uh, he always talks about his trip to Glacier National Park with it That's about a thousand miles from Iowa Turns like a dream these things handle fabulously. I, I'll say that right now. I love the way they handle I don't think you have to adjust the valves on these. It's got, uh, I don't know if they're hydraulic lifters or what they are, but just change oil in the air filter and the spark plug and things like that. Okay, let's do the hill spin test. A little sound there, no cars behind us. Oh yeah, what a dream, what a dream. This has a wheelbase less than 55 inches. I can't remember what it is offhand. I think it's 53 and a half inches, something like that. Oh, here comes a car. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over to the Drailed Grill. Good eats, good eats. Hey, let's go this way. We haven't gone this way in a while. <laughs> I love riding these. I love riding these 500s. I just think they're a ball. The seats are comfortable. The sitting position is awesome. You know, I, my upper legs are even with the ground. My balls and my heels are right about where my knees are, maybe slightly back. I reach to the bars, but just barely. My back, I'm leaning forward slightly, but not much. You know, it's pretty darn comfortable. It's a... It's a it's a good sitting, it's a good stance. That pipe is loud. Handling wise, pushing it around the uh, garage or the shop, not an issue at all. Around town like this, it's an absolute hoot to ride. Absolutely, totally entertaining. And I've had them on the road before. They, they will, uh, you should wear thick gloves if you know what I mean. Hey, if you're in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of some sort, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle. Here, I'll give you a shot of them right there. Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. They can help you out. They also have all kinds of apparel and accessories and backpacks and boots and all kinds of neat stuff. Everything you could ever want. BaxterCycle.com. Wahoo! Let's make our way down to Cycle Park. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go there. Let's let's drive another lap around town. Maybe we can get the uh, locals uh, riled up on us, huh? That cycle park directly in front of us. This thing has torque like you would not believe. It's just got loads of torque. There's absolutely no no shortage of that. <laughs> no shortage of character either. What a hoot, what a hoot. 
Ho, ho, hey, a little bit of gravel everywhere here. <laughs> Gotta be careful, right? Watch where your wheels are. What a grin, what a grin. I like it a lot. Let's see if we can do it the other way. Got to balance life out, right? Yin and yang and all that neat stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Just a grin. The clutch is perfect. Ha! Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, all right, let's quit playing and get back to work, guys. Ha, ha, ha. It's got great pickup. This would run circles around my 350. My 350 is much smoother, but let's take it down here to, to get through this gravel here. Let's take it down here to Cycle Park and uh, do a chit chat on it. Very entertaining motorcycles. This thing has a uh, 499cc overhead valve. The cams are down here, air cooled. Look at that thing, isn't that just beautiful? Uh, I don't think you ever have to adjust the valves. There's something to do with uh, whatever that is. It's electronic fuel injection, five speed transmission, the engine puts out uh, about 27, 28 horsepower and about 30 foot-pounds of torque, maybe a little more than that. It's got loads of torque. It just loads of torque. That's one definite characteristic this motorcycle has. Five-speed transmission right there. And I like the transmission on these. I think they're very good. You know, Royal Enfield, the modern ones, the most modern ones are, are just phenomenal. These are, these are very good, I would say. I love the way the engine looks. This bike is... Uh, they just got it in, so it's kind of filthy yet. They're going to run through the shop and get her all cleaned up. But, uh, you know, it's really a good style bike. These military uh, motorcycles. I love, I love this, of course. I have that on my classic, of course. Uh, the front disc is a 280 millimeter. I'm assuming it's Bybrew, but it doesn't say that anywhere. And the rear is actually a drum. Check it out. Hey, look at that. Snail adjusters for the chain. I like that. Front tire is a 90-90-19 and the rear is a 110-80-18. And uh, look at those shocks. I think there's 80 millimeters of travel. I think that is 3.2 inches. They've got the piggyback on them. I can't read that word. Isn't that just neat, that whole rear end there? You know, the tool kit, the uh, faux air clean cleaner, the... You know, it's got a kickstart. Isn't that cool? It just has a kickstart. I mean, and the springs back on these seats here, they actually work. And of course, everything's metal on this. Everything's metal, you know. That's cast aluminum. This is all tin, you know, all metal. Just gorgeous. I think the por the forks on these are uh, 41 millimeter. No, the forks on these are 35 millimeters, what it got written down. And the 5.1 inches of travel, that's 130 millimeters. I think I already stated the back. The back is supposed to have 80 mils of travel, and that's 3.2 inches. Wheelbase on this hot rod. Here's, <laughs> here's why it was turning so well. 53.5 inches, that's 1,360 millimeters, and loads of ground clearance, 5.3 inches of ground clearance, 135 millimeters. This would be a great farm bike. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, loads of torque, good suspension, loads of ground clearance, tons of ground clearance. Fuel tank is 3.6 gallons, that's 13.5 liters. And here's a great number for y'all, 419 pounds wet weight. That's wet weight. That's with the tank full, you know? That's 190 kilograms. Fabulous. Oh, and by the way, it's eight and a half to one compression. That means you can use regular pump gas. So the covered forks, you know, the, the tubes are actually covered. The metal fenders goes all the way down, you know? Oh, look, the engine is hanging. The frame does not go below the engine. You know, so that means your center of mass is about as low as it can get. Got the wing here on the side, you know, the, the chrome cover on the end of the starter electric start you know the singular muffler ni muffler nice and chrome I mean just just look at that the, the uh, cap on the uh, swing arm pivot you know I love mechanical brakes and look at this hardware just gorgeous 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 look at that rear end beautiful re on the seat just keeps on going I love this you've heard me talk about this before probably we'll talk about that in a minute just beautiful. And even the rims are painted. Look at that. Front and back. I like it. I like it a lot. Little knee pads on there. Okay, let's jump up here to the uh, switch gear. The older style of fuel injection. So it's got the, uh, I don't, they don't call it a choke. I think it's like an enrichner or something like that. I have that on my Himalayan and I've never used it. I don't have to. It always, it always works. Fl flash to pass button, high lows, blinkers, 
horn down below kill switch over here I'm not you know what I keep saying I'm gonna find out what that is I don't know what that is and then down here is the start button fuel of course brake the mirrors dual mirrors and coming up to here you know the most minimalist of gauges and I absolutely love this on my uh, on my 350 classic you know speedo it's got a fuel light an engine light and that that's really it I mean I don't know if there's an oil light or not there's a neutral light a high beam light and a blinker light that's what I see anyway and then of course it's got these uh, uh, tiger eyes which are just a lot of fun <laughs> kind of a good looking thing isn't it just oh look at that I don't know if that's the larger headlight because some of them had a smaller headlight with more chrome and uh, that might be the the larger headlight very nice you know I really like these I, I really do I just think they're gorgeous bikes even the hub is green you know even painted green I wonder if that's true on the back yeah even the rear hub is painted what a machine what a machine it, it's just a beautiful thing you know I already went through this nice royal infill on the side there you know just beautiful solo seat I think you can add a pad on the back if you want there's got rear foot pegs I love the way this whole back end looks we already talked about that just a gorgeous thing I'm guessing the batteries behind this Wow <laughs> Royal Enfield really does it I gotta tell you you know this this is the uh, this is kind of the grandfather to the modern classic 350 I guess it's got all the same styling cues really it's just larger and uh, you know a little rougher running and uh, it's got not rougher it quivers more you know it uh, it's got a little more character in that sense but just a beautiful thing you know I love the fact it's got a rear suspension and the shocks on the seat I like it a lot my garage will only hold four motorcycles and I already have five so hey my friends if you're interested in something like this get hold of Baxter Cycle at BaxterCycle.com ask for Jeremy or Mark or Randy they can help you out with this hot rod and uh, like I said they've got all kinds of bikes new and used Royal Enfields Triumphs and all kinds of apparel and uh, accessories and equipment and you know just a you know what you should do get yourself in your car bike head over to Baxter Cycle in Marnie Iowa and just take check the place it's a real destination site and make sure you look at the vintage cycle room in the back there's 60 or 70 bikes back there that are just unbelievably good looking and amazing and they all run or pretty much all of them run. a lot of them run most of them run anyway life is good life is good if the weather's nice where you're at get yourselves out there and ride wahoo